Hello, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. It's boss time! Sabbath sent you, right? Who are you? Sabin? Is he here? You were shadowing us earlier, right? Brilliant! And how look unlucky it is that you have run into me. Vargas and Winnie the Pooh. I mean, I poo. Uh-oh, Gale cut. I'll use Cure. So you gotta take out his bears. You can't even attack him until his bears are gone. So just gotta take him out as fast as you can. Alright, we took out the Ipoos. Now we can fight the main man. Hopefully I can get this item off him. He has an item for character. That's pretty decent. Sometimes. Come on, what's the matter? Couldn't steal. I might not get it. Either as like kind of an okay item, like, okay, it's a crappy item, or like an okay item. <sighs> Keeps eluding me. Enough! Off with you now! He's gonna use his... technique. Give it up, Vargas. Is that you, Sabin? Vargas, why'd you do it? How could you do your own father in like that? Fool, he made the mistake of choosing you as his successor. He snubbed me, his only son. No, you were the one he chose. You're a liar! Our master wanted you to be his successor, not me. He appreciated your fine spirit. Enough of your lies. Now have a taste of my superior technique. Mortal attack, blizzard fist! Ah, Sabin. The master taught you well. Guess there's no avoiding this. Fate made us train together, and fate will send you to your doom! Doom fist! Phew, I tire of this. So if that timer goes out, and we haven't beat him, we'll die. So what you do is you hit blitz, you go left, right, left on the d-pad, and press A. Come on, Sabin, there's no going back. And then you go pummel. Whoa, what the, he already taught you that? If only you hadn't been in such a rush for power. Seven. Big brother? The brothers are reunited. Younger brother? At first glance, I thought he was a, some bodybuilder who had strayed from his gym. Bodybuilder? I'll take that as a compliment. Anyway, brother, what are you doing here? We're on our way to the Sabo Mountains. To the Returner Hideout, no doubt? I've been watching you from afar, hoping that the world might regain some sanity. At this rate, Figaro will be reduced to a puppet state. Our time to strike back has arrived. The Empire's going to pay for what it has done. Think a bear like me could help you in that fight? You join us? Think Duncan would rest easier if he knew his disciple played a part in bringing peace to the world. Let's get going. I think when he says bear, he's referring to the fact of those other bears. 
Alright, so we're gonna move him to the back. It's like the other character. His more powerful attacks will be magic based anyways. Like that pummel move I used I think is physical, but now nah, he gets a lot better moves. You can actually look at his moves. You go skills, seven, blitz, and it'll tell you how to do it. Cuts through an enemy's defenses, puts the drop on the enemy, and mystical purity slams an enemy. Anybody that uh likes Dragon Ball Z will like that move, that mystical slam. Receive tent. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Do our bolt. Boom. It's like a Kamehameha. Got 81 XP. Dang it. <laughs> I got stuck. Go ahead and steal, auto crossbow. Now we've got a full party. Finally have enough characters for it. Then we're back in the overworld. And then you just walk into a fight. Auto crossbow and steal from that guy if he's still alive. Probably won't be. Nope. Do too much damage now for these enemies. Not that that's ever a bad thing. I messed up. If you do the inputs wrong, then we'll do the incorrect blitz input thing. I right, got some XP, got some GP. And you just keep going up, and then you go in that little cave entrance there. And we'll save before we go in. Nope. Walk in here. Turner's hideout. King Edgar, this way, please. Oh, look, a chest. Potion. It's kind of poopy. Bannon, we, th we brought the girl with us. She the girl who can talk to Espers? Espers. Seemed the Empire had complete control over her. Carrier pigeons brought word that she wiped out 50 of the Empire's best soldiers in a few minutes. That's a lie. Tara. Bannon. She doesn't remember anything. Stay where you are. Perhaps you've heard this story, once when people were pure and innocent. There was a box they were told never to open, but one man went and opened it anyway. He unleashed all the evils of the world. Envy, greed, pride, violence, control. All that was left in the box was a single ray of light. Hope. We now confront those evils, and you are that last ray of light. Our only hope. Just like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Bannon. I think he messed that story up. I'm pretty sure he's referring to Pandora's box, in which I believe it was a girl named Pandora that opened the box, but whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm so tired. Let me rest a while. When you wake up and you just gotta go talk to all your party members. Someone important to me was jailed by the Empire. I've hated the Empire ever since. I joined the Returners when I realized the Empire was rotten to the core. I wanted to make a difference. 
but I have no significant other in my life. That's not entirely true. Besides, I'm sure there are people who feel you're important to them. They are counting on you. Phoenix down, yay. It's useful. And we'll go over here. We don't have our sprint shoes. It's kind of annoying. The only thing I can add is that you can trust my brother implicitly. He's always been fair with me. You can trust him, Terra. But don't you dare tell him I said that. <laughs> We're gonna buy two extra sprint shoes. Equip some. There we go. Then you can do this. Talk to that guy. The Empire is arresting returners everywhere. We have to discover some means of fighting back. Or save Green Cherry. Cures imp status. Someone dropped a scrap of paper here. Leave it here. That's, that's a funny thing later. Talk to Edgar. It's going to be tough to talk you into helping us. If we push you too hard, we're no different than the Empire. So we want you to make up your own mind. That's nice. Go ahead and save. I like saving a lot, in case you guys couldn't tell. But I'm really careful in this game, because I've died at parts and had to do so much over again. It's kind of annoying. And then there's an inn, and if you, you want to use that, then... Well, maybe I should, because I'm kind of low on MP, and it's free, so, I mean, why wouldn't I? Alright, there we go. go. Go talk to this guy next. Bannon, he went outside a moment ago. Have you made a decision? Will you become our last ray of hope? No. I see. You can say... What you could do is you could say yes, and it would just continue with the cutscene, blah blah blah. But there's two ways in this part. You can get a Genji Glove, which is a really good relic. Let's you equip two weapons. And you can either say no to Bannon twice, and then say yes the third time, or you can say no two times, and then go in the back and talk to one of the guards. So, I'll go into back, and I will talk to this guard. I understand your unease, but even as we speak, innocent lives are being lost. Please, we need your abilities. This relic will keep you safe. Genji Glove. We truly need your help. Save Phoenix Town. Save Dare Lancet. And True Knight. True Knight is a relic that when somebody is low on HP on your team, whoever has True Knight equipped will take the damage for that person. Which is kind of iffy, I don't really like using it, just because there's no like super tanky characters in this game that can just like negate damage. They all kind of level up evenly. I mean later there will be definitely like tanky characters or like more tanky than others, but for right now it's not that big of a deal. And what you're, now what you're supposed to do is go say yes to Bannon, but I only have like a minute, le minute, couple seconds, so I'm going to end the episode there, and we'll have to see what happens with Bannon and Terra and the gang on the next episode. So yeah, see you next time.